We're just over a week away from state track and field in Omaha, which means district track meets all over the Tri-Cities. Let's begin in Kearney for Class A4 districts. Let's begin with the boys, 4x100, and these four names are synonymous with Kearney Athletics. Abel Molina, Agent Zero, Xander Ruling, Sam Noctigal, and anchor Zaire Legroni Miller. Bringing this one home as a quartet sets a PR with a time of 41.93 seconds. Girls 4x400 four now in Kearney girls were either in first or second place throughout the race. Final leg, check out the kick by Kearney's Alyssa Gantz as she wins it for the Lady Bearcats as they win it with a time of 4 minutes, 4 seconds, point zero one. Tell me they're not fired up as Gans, Blair May, Alyssa Bauer, and Kelsey Hatcher are heading to state. Boys 4x100 squad looking for the sweep. Not only did they do that, but Evan Schaefer, Xander Ruling, Gus Fye and Caden John set a PR with a blistering time of 3 minutes 24.73 seconds. Papio South finishes in second. Norfolk round out your top three. And check out the team winners. It's girls Papillion LaVista South with the A4 district track and field score 163. Lincoln Southwest is second and Kearney would finish in third. Over to the boys team winners and it's Carney High as they blew the way the competition with the, today with a score of 177.6. Papio South is in second and Lincoln Southwest finish out your third place respectively. Yeah, we are. Um, and the great thing about that is we got a bunch of multi-sport guys, football, cross country, wrestling, basketball, swimming. I mean, we have guys that just kind of do it all and they, they don't know any difference. So they just come out from the from one sport to the next. And that's how we have to do it at Carney High. And it just kind of showed all those guys out here today. And let's move on down I-80 and stop in Aurora. Let's go to the girls 4x800 where five teams trying to punch their ticket to Omaha and the handoff goes neck and neck, but the Tigers with the lead. Kellen Henry Perlick, Myla Mick, Laney Benson, and Sophia Reynolds are your winners with a time of 9 minutes, 53.34 seconds. Followed by Northwest, Broken Bow, round out your top three. On to the boys. This one is a bigger competition, but Hastings, they're setting the pace throughout. And they quartet of... Ethan Grines, Marvelous Robinson, Diego Cholon, and Austin Carrera are your winners with a time of 8 minutes, 16.50 seconds. Aurora and Northwest and Holdridge round out your state-bound squads. Let's keep moving along. Pole vault now. First leg, Broken Boy, Broken Bows, Coy Warden. Give him his flowers. Wins it 14 feet, 6 inches. He's heading to state. Check this out. Eight players are also, eight competitors are also heading to state. Three from York, three from Holdridge, and one from Northwest. Impressive showing for sure. Not pictured girls, they had nine. B5, such a competitive district. And lastly, boys discus as the competitors were dealing with the wind all afternoon, but Holdridge's Andrew Anglin figured it out as he put some air underneath this toss, and he wins it with a throw of 165 feet, six inches. The senior excited about going back and competing in Omaha. Last meet, I PR'd. This meet, I was pretty consistent, so so far it's looking pretty good. Hoping to keep it rolling at Burke. I'm ready for anything. Is obviously great to um, have at my disposal, but consistency is key. You know, got to be consistent. Oh, they've been great. I mean, the community is fantastic. Support is huge. Uh, yeah, just a good time overall.